and this will grow out and then the nutlet comes in mid-April. It's something you might take for granted. Every season, farmers will harvest their crops and send them from the farm to tables across America. But harvest seasons are short, some lasting only a few weeks, and that's when demand for extra workers is high. Most farms could not exist without seasonal workers. Those seasonal workers are getting harder and harder to come by. The farm population is aging, and American workers aren't rushing in to fill the gap. We don't have folks in this country who are willing to come work on the farm in 115 degree weather like we have today and harvest our crops and irrigate the fields and do the farm work that has to be done. We're short of folks. Some of those folks have to come from outside the United States to do that job. So farmers use a government program called H-2A. It allows foreign workers short-term visas to help harvest crops. But talk to farmers and they say the program is broken. Government delays mean workers don't show up when needed and labor shortages on the farm, they say, have reached a tipping point. If we don't have labor to come harvest our crops, we're going away. We're going to go out of business. Without access to a legal, reliable workforce, we'll have business decisions to make, and it will probably mean those fresh vegetables no longer are produced in this country. Our country has got to make up its mind whether we're going to import labor or whether we're going to import our food. Rural America is at stake here. Labor's not the only problem. For ranchers living along the border, a stalled immigration policy means concerns about security. So this is the fence that everybody normally is typical of seeing when they when they talk about a border wall. But what exists two miles just west of the city of Nogales is this barbed wire fence right here, a cattle fence. Dan Bell is a third generation cattle rancher. Ten miles of his ranch runs along this rugged border. It looks quiet but it's one of the busiest areas patrolled by Border Control. They say the fence securing it can be scaled in a matter of seconds. Bell wants to see more technology, boots on the ground, and roads to access the miles and miles of rough terrain that is difficult to patrol. People are gonna cross right here where the border wall is. There's people crossing all the time. In fact, on that hill right there, on that knoll, there's a set of scouts that are watching us right now. They're working for the Mexican drug cartels, and those cartels are running the, the immigrants through as well as the drugs. And in the minds of ranchers and farmers who live and work the land along this stretch of the border, security and immigration reform go hand in hand. You can't have border security without immigration reform because you have to know who's here. Meanwhile, farmers are reeling from labor shortages. They want Congress to act on immigration reform that addresses border security and establishes a stable, reliable, and legal supply of agricultural workers, including those who call a foreign country home. They want something better for themselves and their children, and they're willing to work for it, just like our ancestors did. They're looking to make their life better. Anyone that would cross a, a desert like we've looked at here today uh, to try to make their life better is obviously motivated. You know, when we fix immigration, we need to think about what America really is, this melting pot, and all of us come from another culture or some other part of the world. Why did you come to the United States? Why? Because it's a... Uh... I got a more opportunity right here. And that's what built our country. And I don't think there's anything wrong with people trying to do that. And the people working in agriculture, that's the type of people they are. I love it, this, this country. I love it. I'm Jonna Miller for the American Farm Bureau.